Good morning, everybody, and happy Sabbath. I've got a children's story for you about Jonah. Jonah was a prophet of God who preached to the Jews living in Israel. He told them that God wanted them to stop worshipping false idols and to obey them. He knew that God would forgive those who repented of their sin. Then, one day, God told Jonah he wanted him to go on a long journey to the city of Nineveh and to tell them God wanted them to repent also. If they did not, God was going to destroy Nineveh. Now, Nineveh was the capital city of the Assyrian Empire, and its people were very, very wicked. They were a powerful nation and enemies of the Jewish nation. Jonah did not want God to forgive them. He wanted God to destroy them. So, instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah headed to the port of Joppa, and he got on a boat. The boat was heading across the Mediterranean Sea to Tarshish, which was as far away in the opposite direction from Nineveh as you could go. God was displeased with Noah, so he sent a terrible storm. The wind was so fierce and the waves were so big, the big boat was about to sink. The terrified sailors got all the cargo and they threw it off the boat. The storm continued to get worse. Finally, Jonah confessed to the sailors. He said, this storm is all my fault. I have run away from God. If you throw me overboard, Then the storm will calm down. The sailors did not want to throw Jonah overboard, but the storm continued to get worse, and it was their only hope of survival. They took Jonah and threw him over the side of the boat into the deep sea. Immediately, the wind dropped and the sea became calm. Jonah sank under the water, but God was not finished with his disobedient prophet. He had prepared a great big fish to swallow Jonah and to keep him alive. Deep in the belly of the fish, huge fish, Jonah cried out to God for help. He told God how sorry he was for disobeying him. Three days and three nights later, the fish vomited Jonah up onto dry land. God had forgiven him and spared his life. Once again, God came back to Jonah and said, Come, let's go to Nineveh, and I want you to ask the people in Nineveh to repent. When Jonah arrived at the city, he started preaching. He said, In 40 days, God is going to destroy the city of Nineveh. Repent. Rather rather than laughing at the prophet, the people of Nineveh listened and eventually they repented. Even the mighty king of Nineveh took off his fine royal robes and put on sackcloth and ashes to show how sad he was. And he begged God to spare them. God showed mercy to the Assyrians when they repented. This made Jonah very angry. He did not like the Assyrians and he wanted God to destroy them. I did not, I knew you would forgive them, he complained to God. That is why I did not want to come here and preach to them. Jonah went out to a hill overlooking the city and built a shelter. He watched and waited. He was going to see if God was going to destroy Nineveh. One day, a vine grew up to come and shelter Jonah. But the next day, God sent a worm to destroy the vine and it withered and died. Jonah had no shelter from the hot east wind that blew and got, and he got very angry and he sulked. I wish I were dead, he bitterly complained to God. God said to him, you feel sorry for yourself when your shelter is destroyed, though you did not plant or care for the plant. God replied, so why should I feel sorry for a great city like Nineveh with its 120,000 people in utter spiritual darkness. God wanted Jonah to see why he wanted to, why the, the, he wanted the Ninevites to repent. <laughs>